Gail Pennington. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning, McGraw. How are you? I'm great. It was the finale of Downton Abbey last night. Yes. And everyone is happy. Happy it's over with or happy because no, it ended happy correctly? No, how things came out. And I'm not going to give spoilers because some people went to Springsteen last night. Yes. Some people had other, you know, yes. commitments, mm -hmm. I guess, were yes. more important. Yes. Um, but... I will say that everybody I've heard from so far has been very happy with it. All right, so now that it's over with, now I can start watching Downton Abbey. Yes, you should start from the first. Okay. It's streaming on Amazon, and I watched the entire first season um, last week, and it's so good. <laughs> really? Yeah. How long does it take somebody like me to sort of get used to the accent? I don't find the accents difficult at all. For one thing, the mother of the family is American. Oh. I thought it was about a British family. It is, but she came over. Um, oh, she's and one of those dirty Americans. To, to give him her fortune. And, and this is all fake, right? This is all a fake. It's not true. It's it's historical, but the people are not real. Gotcha. Okay. All right. right. Good. All right. Fair enough. So good. For example, it begins with the sinking of the Titanic. So there, and there's World War One later. So there are historical events in it. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Um, but it, but it's set in in the 19 teens. Yes, yeah. starts in 1912. You're going to love it so much, you're going to want to talk about it every week. And right. then people will say, oh, shut up, McGraw. <laughs> we watched it five years ago. It doesn't matter what I say. People say, shut up, McGraw, every oh, day that's here. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. All right, so Downton Abbey fi final. Where would you put it in the pantheon of fi uh, of, of uh, finales? Um, well, it wasn't ambitious. It was intended, and it did, to give fans exactly what they wanted which was closure on every storyline right? and basically happy endings for everyone. Oh, all right. So, so they, didn't, they didn't wake up in, like, Bob Newhart's bed with uh, Suzanne Plachette, did they? Um, well, let's see. It was all in a snow globe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what show was that where it was all in a snow globe? That was St. Elsewhere. St. Elsewhere, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, there are a lot of premieres this week, lots and lots of premieres this week. Um, Remember the movie The Omen? Yes, Damien. Damien's all grown up, and he's a war photographer. And guess what? He forgot his past. He forgot he was the Antichrist. Oh. Yeah, that's tonight on A&E. Oh. called Damien. All right. That'll work. What else you got? Um, a really good, surprisingly good new series about the Underground Railroad uh, during slavery. It starts called Underground, and it's Wednesday on WGN. Oh, that sounds good, too. And John Legend is a, an executive producer of it, and he also provided all the music. So it's this story about slavery times, but it has contemporary music in it that's actually pretty exciting. You know, there was an underground, uh, the, the, they just dedicated a spot in uh, St. Louis, just north of uh, the Eads Bridge, the Mary Meacham uh, sort of um, park there, where um, I believe that was the last stop to freedom, right? So if you cross the Mississippi River, you were free into Illinois. And that right. they have they have like a marking there where it was the last stop on the Underground Railroad. That's very exciting. Yeah, it was really... It was, I've but, only seen one episode, so I haven't actually seen the, the process of the, of the slaves right. leaving, but it is a very uh, modern and, and, you know, that's, what am I saying? Brutal depiction of slavery yeah, and yeah. about the, the dichotomy between the people and the white people. WGN. Ways. You know what I find interesting is that um, you watching this Legacy on HBO at all? Or uh, Legacy? Not, not Legacy, Vinyl. I'm sorry, Vinyl on HBO. Vinyl. I watched the first couple. So a couple of my friends, uh, I, I started watching it, and I, I think it's pretty good. But a couple of people I've, I've said are saying, yeah, I really want to watch that. I'm, I'm waiting for the season to be over with so I can watch it in one sitting. I know. It's, so, it's Netflix. Right. Netflix I mean, did it. Right. People are actually now waiting to watch TV shows. I think if you watched all of vinyl in one sitting, your, your brain would leak out <laughs> your ear. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and I think you were, not that I agree with anything you say, but That's you, true. You, you understated how great The People versus O.J. Simpson is. Well, I had seen six, and I kept telling people, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Wait till you see this week, the one about Marsha Clark. Uh, it is so obscenely good. We have uh, Courtney B. Vance on the show tomorrow. 
Um, and then we had um, Ster- is it Sterling Brown? Sterling K. Brown, isn't he great? Yeah. The St. Louis guy. Yeah, he. We had him on the show a couple of weeks ago. He's the moral compass. The the Chris Darden character, the uh, the guy from St. Louis. He's the moral center of that show. He's the one person who really is in the middle and sees both sides. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Re- it's really quite an extraordinary deal. All right, Gail, when can we read you? When can we see you? Um, I'll be in the Friday Go section and Sunday A&E, and I'll have a live chat on Thursday. Have a good week, Gail. Thanks for checking in. Bye. All right.